Well, I shouldn't even do this video because it doesn't do the car justice. It's, I haven't driven it in a year and it's kind of dusty, but I had to back it out of the garage. So I figured I'd catch it on video. Uh, it needs, I gotta do some work on it next year. It needs tires and an exhaust system. I just didn't have time to bother with it this year. But anyway, it's a 77 New Yorker Brome. Can't get it in the picture here. It's a little on the big side. But all that chrome is original. I did have it repainted about five or six years ago. Didn't really need any body work. It never had any rust or anything, but the clear coat was peeling in a couple of spots and somebody had buffed it with a wheel and wore it off some of the corners, that kind of stuff. Nice car, probably gets about eight miles to the gallon. I don't even know, I never checked it because I didn't want to know. Even in regular times, I don't drive it that much. Go through about a tank or two of gas a year, only in the summer. That's the original front seat. The original floor mats, I should have vacuumed it, but there's the dashboard. And if you see that odometer, it says 35,000. That is the original miles. Here's the back seat. Door panels. The fine Corinthian leather. A lot of the old timers see that, like me, and think it's an Imperial because that was the body of the Imperial from, I think, 73 to 75. They discontinued the Imperial in 75 and kept the body and just rebranded it the New Yorker Brome. Took a few of the options out of it, you know, the standard options, and made them just options. So, really, if you bought a 76, 76 77 or 78 new yorker brome you were really getting an imperial car weighs almost 5,000 pounds this particular one has the optional cordoba 400 engine in it the standard engine was uh 440 which i don't know they're about the same horsepower i think the cordoba engine is five horsepower less but and that's about it maybe i'll do a better one next year when i get it out for the summer